YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the FIFA 23 market. We're going to look at when should we be buying our teams. Team of the Season Weekend League is coming soon. Should we be looking to prepare for that? We'll take a peek at investments. We'll look at our fodder, Team of the Weeks, 83s, 84s, whatever it is we bought. And we're going to look at investments for the Team of the Season team potentially coming out on Friday. But before we do all that, we have to talk about content today on Sunday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was just more and more content. EA is just releasing so many SBCs at the moment. We got the showdown Ben White versus Gundogan City versus Arsenal. This game is going to be playing on Wednesday. Dang, they made this really, really expensive. I believe this Gundo is around 600 or maybe more than that. 600,000 coins. Ben White solid card medium high work rate six foot one he can play right back as well honestly not too bad looking of a card but i'd say basically whoever gets the upgrade is i don't even know if the gundo with an upgrade i, I don't even know if i would say that's worth it if ben white gets an upgrade though 100 this guy with plus two all, all plus two stats he's going to be nasty but there was that with the showdown. Moving on, there was a lot of content to go into. So this is going to take a second. Here we go. 81 plus times 11 La Liga. All these SBCs are refreshing every day. And it's every day. Every single day you can do it again. So a lot of fodder being required everywhere all over this market. And just no supply. Because guess what? Squad Battle Rewards is gone. And Weekend League is finishing today on Sunday after today on Sunday. That supply is gone and there's basically just no supply. But 83 overall squad, again, awesome. And then an 84 overall squad with 285s minimum and a Team of the Week requirement. So 85s, that's great for them. We saw a tiny bit of a rise at content. Team of the Weeks didn't really move too much. We're at kind of like a stale point right now where I, honestly, I feel like these SBCs won one are a little too expensive like an 83 and an 84 overall squad for an 81 plus times 11 la liga upgrade it, it's almost like it's just a tad bit expensive especially the syria one i don't know how many people are going to be going crazy over that syria sbc uh, maybe we will start to see fodder rise more again starting tomorrow on monday just because that's when a lot of the, the supply starts to die down but i'm thinking when we start to get the premier league in the lagoon upgrade sbcs that's when it might get a bit more interesting and almost everybody is going to be doing those because we all know premier league is the most hyped league same thing with lagoon because they have messi mbappe and neymar so i think when the La Le when the lagoon in the premier league ones come out we're going to see a bit more hype there and a bit more movement on some of the fodder and now continuing through we got a, f a few SBCs that were a bit different. Mute that. Prime bronze upgrade, prime silver upgrade. There should be a mixed league upgrade as well. Yeah, it's right here. So we got league upgrade SBCs again. 90 days, three months they're out for. It. And we got these bronze and silver upgrades. Now, I don't know too much about these i'm guessing there's some way to open bronze packs and craft an unlimited amount of packs i haven't looked into it i'm guessing maybe bpm nerd on twitter has something like that but these are out for 90 days so i'm, I'm not assuming there's some like crazy unlimited pack method like before when it was literally just we were crafting pack after pack after pack and it cost us nothing so that was content league sbc bronze silver upgrade showdown and the 81 plus la liga that was it for content nothing too crazy on fodder we can kind of go through these again 83s i believe are about dang how do you mute notifications on on the laptop i have no idea how to do it i'm just gonna let it go ignore the ping 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 oh my goodness okay so 83s, let's just take a peek there. Ziyech, I always type this guy in, I don't know why. He is 1,900 coins, 1,800 just about. So 83s 
once again, it's just, I'm going to be saying the same thing. It's all these videos. I'm going to be saying, guys, hold until Wednesday slash Thursday when it comes to this fodder. Same thing with 84s, same thing with 85s, same thing with Team of the Weeks. Because if you look at last year, it's just SBC every single day, every single day. No one's opening packs because there's nothing in packs. So no supply. Cards keep getting used. And then Thursday was actually the very, very peak on pretty much all the fodder cards. The I believe, I, I didn't look into the team of the weeks, but I know the 83s and the 84s, Thursday, that was a big peak day because it was the last day when everyone was getting a bunch of the SBCs done before team of the season. So still Wednesday, Thursday, all those cards is when you're looking to sell them. If you want to still pick up some of these 83s, you can, you can try it. But like I said, it's just, we bought for 800 and they're now almost 2k if you're gonna buy them 16 17 try like 1600 on bid i'll say that 84s let's go take a peek there i think they're actually kind of on the lower side i believe they're like full yeah they're getting down low if you can get these 84s i mean are they four thousand coins if you can get 84s for four thousand coins or less i actually don't mind that because i wouldn't be surprised if they go up to 5,000 coins. So I don't mind these for about 4,000 coins. That's not a terrible move. And then you guys know 82s. I still like the 82s, especially if you're on a low budget and you want something that's just very, very low risk. These 82s, it seems like their bids are 750 coins now because they're like 850 to 900 on snipes for the 82 overall. That's I shouldn't say snipes. It's just what they're going for. 850 is, is basically their price. So I would say 900, 850, 900. If you can get these 82s for 800 or less, it seems like a lot of them are going for 750. I actually really like that, 700 perfect. If you're on a low budget, that is a great, great area for you guys to invest in. 82 overall cards, there you go for that. Now, for gold commons, I, I've been telling you guys, I can't buy anything right now on stream, by the way, because I have to do the unsigned glitch. Gold commons are cheap. They are 450 on snipe. If we look that they're just going for 450, I should say 400 coins on snipe. And I told you guys in yesterday's video, if you can get these for 300 to 350 coins on bid, I absolutely love that. The absolute max you should be paying is 400. I don't think you should be paying 400 now because if you're looking at it, they are clearly 300 to 350 coins on bid. The, they're selling for 400 to 450 on, on the buy now. So it should easy 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 easily be on bid for 300 to 350 and if you're buying these gold commons you're looking to sell them on tuesday maybe wednesday but most likely on tuesday we will see that as the sell time now uh that was gold commons that was fodder let's take a peek at team of the weeks so i still think you can buy these team of the weeks they're required almost every single day Getting them for 10,000 coins is, is really easy to do on bid. If you just go on the bids, they're literally, they're, they're 10,000 coins. I mean, you might even get them for less on bid. Look at all these. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Guys, this is probably one of the last days for you to be buying team of the weeks. I know I keep saying it every single day and they're not really rising every day, but guess what? It's the weekend. What's in packs? Team of the week packs. Team of the weeks, I guess. Team of the week packs you get from weekend league when you you know get your weekly league rewards whatever it is so team of the weeks for after today on sunday it's it's really like there's no more supply so this is probably one of the last days for you to be getting in and we have all these requirements and then hopefully they're going to be like 12,000 13,000 14,000 if we're really lucky 15,000 coins if they hit 12k i'm happy 1k per card i'm i'm not going to complain about that i told you guys i'm lazy when it comes to trading and i'm not buying the lower budget cards anymore um so there is that with team of the week cards, 10,000 coins. If you're buying the higher rated ones, 83s, what do we got on the 83s? Let's just check them out real quick. 83 team of the weeks are 11,000 coins. You want to get them below that 10, 5, 10, 7, 5. I'm basically repeating what I said in yesterday's video. A lot of this is just repeating yesterday's video. So 85 team of the weeks real quick as well. Let's just throw them in there. These guys are low. I told you to buy them when they were 13K and they are still kind of chilling around here. They're about 13.75. If you can get them for like 13.5, any 85 team of the week for 13,500 coins, it shouldn't be too hard. What are the bids looking like on them? 
13 5 they're 85 overall cards but they're also team of the week so i i mean there's a 13k bid right there i'll just kind of watch that anything 13 5 or less i like that even if you have to pay 13 7 5 i don't think it's that bad so that's my take on 85 team of the weeks i actually made a bit of an oopsie whoopsie today at content i went in and i panic bought today i panic bought and i went in too early i saw the la liga sbc and i thought 85s were gonna like absolutely moon 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 and we didn't really see that too much and i overpaid on spinazola and yeah i overpaid like a thousand coins on spinazola if you can get spinazola at like 14k i think it's solid he's actually a good card he can play left back I know his face position is left mid, but he can play left back. And he links to Tammy Abraham. And he's a really solid Serie A left back. He's one of the best ones, I would say. And especially since he's the same price as 85 overall cards. I think it's low risk. I know I bought at 15K and I overpaid, but you can lazy list them at 18K, lazy list them at 19K. And I'm hoping out of packs, maybe we see him go closer to like 18, 19, 20,000 coins. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. And uh, 14K shouldn't be too bad on that card. I definitely rushed into buying him though. So that's my take on team of the weeks. That's my take on fodder. Let's talk about buying your team now. And then we'll go into the other investment that I think I might personally be looking to do. Now, buying teams. If you guys want to buy your team, usually Sunday is a fairly low point. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we start to see the market rise. It's just something that kind of tends to happen. And if we look based off of last year, the high end market, a lot of the high tier cards had their low the week before team of the season. And then when it actually started, a lot of cards rebounded. And that's just because a lot of panic selling before team of the season and then team of the season starts. You need a good team for team of the season so you can get good rewards and get team of the season rewards. So I'm looking to buy my cards. If you, it's basically, I think we have like two options and it's buy your team now today on Sunday. I'm looking to buy my team of the year KDB. I'm looking to buy my fantasy aloe iron. And you know, cards are still pretty low. If we look at uh, World Cup hero Alo Iron. He's down at 500k. I think the other day, a couple days ago, he was like 525. If we look at Mbappe, this guy just keeps dropping. He is down to three. Is he almost 350 now? Oh my goodness. He just keeps going down in price. I'm pretty sure Mbappe was 400. Was he like 400k almost on Friday? I think he was almost 420 Friday in the morning before content dropped. So he is down a good, good, good amount. Uh, the only issue that I have somewhat with an Mbappe is the fact that he's a gold. So when team of season starts on Friday, Mbappe is in packs. Someone like the team of the year KDB, not in packs. If you look at icons, I know icons are in packs. Like uh, I was looking at Prime Hullet. I know they're in packs, but it's Hullet. Who's going to pack Hullet? Honestly, really nobody. Trophy Titan Blanc. I like this card. He's so nasty in game, by the way. Uh, any of the Trophy Titan cards. I, I, the only issue with center backs is Team of the Year Nesta. We still haven't got that Team of the Year icon Nesta, but I didn't care. I bought Blanc because I was sick of Maldini, and he's nasty. I wouldn't be surprised if someone like this Blanc just keeps rising in price just because he's really, he's really, really good in game. The dude is massive. He can play a bunch of positions throughout the entire midfield. Six foot four, medium high. He's solid in game. If you guys need a center back and you want someone that's like one of the best center backs in the game and he's really cheap, he's 330 at the moment. He might be up a little bit more or down a little bit, but I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy just kind of continues to rise. He's nasty. So that is my take on buying your team. You either buy today on Sunday or the second option wait till like wednesday for a loading screen and you can hope that when we get a team of the season loading screen for community or air the visa team of the season hope that we see some panic and then you can buy into that panic so those are your two options but my only issue is if you wait till wednesday is it going to be too late like is that what everyone's doing and the market just kind of goes up from there that's the only thing i'm somewhat worried about so i as soon as I can, I'm, I'm watching my KDB, I'm watching my aloe wire, and, and if I can get a deal on them, 
I'm looking to just purchase them. So I'm trying to see if I can get this KDB for like two, four, five on bid. I got to get my coins back up. I have to sell a few of these team of the weeks, but I'm hoping I can get there. And then Alo Wyron, I think I, I'm just going to buy the World Cup one because I'm not going to be able to sell enough team of the weeks in time. Now, let's talk about the investment that I think I'm going to do that is very low risk, low budget, and it's something I'm going to do on the side because I'm going to build my team. So the previous video, we talked about a 10 times your coin investment. That was team of the season out of pack investment. So last year, Anthony Gold, heir to the Visa team of the season, he was 800 coins. When his card came out, he went up to 8,000 coins, his team of season when it came out. When, look at all of them. Look at the Kaku Gold. His gold common was like 500, 600 coins. He went all the way up to 5K. All of the cards, they flew. And we were wondering, I asked you guys in the video, I don't think anyone really answered in the comment section. We were wondering why they went up a ton in price. And we looked it up on stream. And well, I looked it up after the video. And then we talked about it a little bit on stream. There was an objective. I don't know if there was a tournament maybe that required Eredivisie players, but there was an objective for a, I think Mario Jr. It was a Brazilian, I think right back or left back from the Eredivisie. And it had some requirements to use Air Devise players in the objective. I don't know if that's the exact reason why they all flew. It's kind of crazy for them to 10 times in price because of that. But maybe we get something like that again. Some sort of objective, some sort of tournament. It's a gamble I'm okay with taking. Just because these cards are so cheap. They're going to be out of packs. If you want to pick some of them up, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. 82 overall. Burgoose, he's, he's very low risk. You look at Tadic, you look at Timber, any of the cards, I think it's just a fairly low risk play if they make sure they're cards that are getting into team of season. I don't know what Eredivisie team of the season looks like. Someone like Timber is also really good with like a daily SBC. If you get any SBC that's like 80 overall, 30 chemistry, this guy can go up a ton because of something like that. So that would be another reason for maybe timber to fly in price but that, that's basically it they're going out of packs maybe we get an objective of some sorts i just think it's it's fairly low risk if they don't rise it's not that big of a deal if i put 500k into these cards and they don't rise i'll probably still have 500k or maybe i'll have a little bit more maybe i'll have a tiny bit more depending on how well they do out of packs i just don't see them tanking in price especially because we're in a week right now where no one's really opening packs and there's not a lot of supply. So I think it's fairly low risk and the potential profit, the gamble of potentially getting an objective or a maybe ter uh, friendly game mode or something, whatever it is, the potential profit from something like that is just so high. Like if you put a mill into Anthony last year, a week after you invested, he would your one mil would have been 10 mil so the gamble i think is worth it and it's something i'm just going to kind of casually do on the side with the leftover coins i have after i build my team for weekend league and guys that's it it's nothing too complicated it's team of the weeks it's fodder it's team of the season potential out of pack cards it's a lot of just really simple investments at the moment nothing too complicated and I'm waiting till Wednesday and Thursday. I'm just repeating myself every day. We're going to get more content tomorrow on Monday. Maybe tomorrow on Monday, we got La Liga. We got Serie A. Maybe we go Bundesliga and then Ligue 1 and then Premier League. Tuesday, Wednesday, it kind of fills out perfectly. So just expect SBCs every single day. It's just a lot of content from EA and hopefully something to make our team of the weeks and 83s and 84s and 85s fly even more. But that's it for this video, guys. Any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. My free trading discord and my Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.